All right, Mark, we'll talk soon. Thanks so much. Now we want to talk about police under fire. A staggering surge in the number of police officers killed in the line of duty this year, and that's not the only kind of violence against officers that's on the rise. News 5's Tracy Carlos shows us what's being done locally to protect those who protect and serve. Bedford police officer Larnell Roberts protects and serves every day. When you get a chance, 19, see the bureau. Dangerous duty for Roberts and thousands of other cops who report for duty daily. There are very few occupations out there where your sole mission is to go out and put your lives on the line for, for a perfect stranger. Now new FBI data shows a drastic increase in the number of officers killed in the line of duty. It's a heartbreaking increase. From the beginning of 2021 until October 14th, 59 police officers have died compared to 39 from the same time span last year. One is too many, but 59 is far too many. Cleveland FBI Special Agent in Charge Eric Smith says that one police officer every five days is murdered, and statistics show the majority are unprovoked attacks. It does speak to the level of violence that people are willing to go to. Um, you know, they're not willing to have discussions anymore. They want to resort to violence no matter who, you know, who they're facing. There has also been an increase in the number of police officers ambushed while on the job. So much so that Bedford Deputy Chief Rick Sutz told me they are taking steps to prepare their officers. We did training with all seven cities on anti-ambush, how to get out of an ambush situation uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was very successful. They're also taking steps to protect officers like Roberts while he works to keep others safe. Some of the cities, including us, we try to send two cops to every call even if it's a, a, a benign call because we don't know what we're going into. So far this year, three Ohio police officers have been killed in the line of duty. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5.